Hey there, everybody. Uh, we have another deck tech series, and this one's gonna be kind of a fun one, I think. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be a meme deck, but it's, it's kind of close to a meme deck. It's a gimmick deck. But Andy, why don't you kind of take us through uh, what we got in front of us? Yeah, sure. So, you know, a lot of the comments that I read on the ones that we've done so far are all like, "I want to play a fun deck," or "I want to play a themed deck," or you know, "My Manith Scanning Crew." deck is not fun i don't want to play that right so <laughs> it's very hard for me to make like just very casual decks um because i always i have like a very strong competitive sense and i want to optimize decks to like perfection but i threw this together um actually i got the idea i was playing a scavenger game which is like a equivalent to magic's pauper format where it's like commons and uncommons only mm -hmm. Um, which is a really neat format, actually, but in Star Wars. But I was playing uh, against Hustler 2, and he had a Kashik Operatives with Wookiees deck um, that he ended up beating me um, with. And so I tried to spin it into like a somewhat competitive, uh, you know, Death Star 2 era deck um, to play. So I'm going to run through this real quick. Um, you're going to start with local uprising um, which is the operative objective from special edition um, so deploy on any deploy any planet system and one diamond site to that system the system is a subjugated planet while this site up once during each of your deploy phases you can deploy one diamond site to the subjugated planet from reserve deck reshuffle flip if you're matching operatives control at least three battleground sites related to the subjugated planet so you'll need to have three of this guy kashik operative um Three is just so many. I'm just going to throw that out there. Three is so many. <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> yeah, and so operatives, for those people that don't know or don't remember, were really broken when they first were released because an op as long as you have one ability and your opponent doesn't have any ability there or less than one ability, like they could have a creature vehicle or something like a Bantha, but um, you control that site. And then operatives... You could play an operative and then an operative can pull out another site and you can just you'd play like you know 25 copies of the operative and you would just pull out all nine sites that are diamond sites eight or nine sites that are diamond sites and control them all and operatives add to four strains it was just <laughs> it was really really dumb um anybody who wants more information look up the star wars worlds 98 information or coverage it's all operatives they're they're really really broken so decipher eroded them so that operatives cannot control a site by themselves, and they need to have another, well, so basically they need to have another character at that site with them, and they can't, you like, they don't add when they're with each other um, to, like, Battle Destinies and Force Strains and stuff, so they're, like, really neutered um, operatives, but so you have to control three diamond sites. On the back side, while this side up, opponents four strains everywhere are minus one, which is really great. You can retrieve a force whenever you deploy a matching operative to the subjugated planet, which is, you know, nice. Your matching operatives on that planet are each forfeit plus two, and when at the same site as an Imperial or an Adat are each power plus two. While you have at least one matching operative in a battle, you can add one battle destiny. Flip this card if you do not occupy at least two battleground sites related to the subjugated planet. So the back side of liberate the liberation part is very strong, um, which is also what made operatives really good. So we're going to be starting with Kashik, which is one of the better light side systems. It's a two one uh, parsec six. Your Wookies and smugglers deploy minus two here. It doesn't really matter. Total ability of six required for your opponent to draw a battle destiny there, which is pretty good. The site you're going to probably start is going to be the farm. Um, because it gives you two force, so you'll be able to activate five force on your own. Um, can't deploy to Bespin, Coruscant, Dagobah, Hoth, or Kessel, okay? You can deploy Hydroponics, Station, and Evaporator. Basically, it's just a 2-1 site. doesn't really matter. Um, and then, as far as um, effects go, you're going to start heading for the Medical Frigate, which lets you deploy three effects that are always immune to alter and deploy on table. With that, you're going to start with um, strike planning, um, which allows you to 
twice per game can take Mon Mothma or a general except Obi-Wan into hand, so you can go get two different generals. Um, you're also going to start with Insurrection, as well as um, I put Wise Advice, um, just to give you a little bit of sense in altar protection. And there's just a lot of good, um, we'll say, dark side used interrupts that you want to use your grabbers on later and just mix the grabbers to play for free. So you're going to start with those three. Um, Insurrection gives a little bit of a boost to some of your other um, characters. and um, But otherwise, what you're going to be doing is you want to play Kashyyyk Operatives. So you have five Kashyyyk Operatives in your deck. A lot of Kashyyyk Sight adds one to your four strings there. It's forfeit plus one, power plus one if you have a Wookiee on Kashyyyk. And once during each of your deploy phases, you can deploy one Sight to Kashyyyk. So you have Narshada Wind Chimes, which you're going to use this or function. Search your reserve deck and take a non-unique alien into hand. So you have, not only do you have your Kashyyyk Operatives, you have Athorians, and you have Wookiees. Um, but you want to get your Kashyyyk operatives out to your sites, which they're going to make all of your your four sites four string two. Um, and then between the objective and their text, they're going to be like power two, forfeit, either five or seven, which they're deployed one, so their stats are just like really good. <laughs> Um, to be honest with you. And then the characters that you're going to back them up with, you, your operatives can pull out the forest, jungle, and swamp, or your objective can pull them out on subsequent turns. The forest is very nice because it makes all your characters immune to attrition. It's probably the best diamond site. Jungle, um, aliens and creature vehicles are each power plus one, so it buffs all of your aliens. Your opponent has a four strain minus one and attrition against you against opponent is minus two, so that's a really good defensive location. Uh, swamp, you're never going to use your game text, but if Dark Side wants to initiate a battle, they have to use plus three force. Of course, if they have like battle order or battle plan out, they battle for free. But um, what's nice about Forest Jungle and Swamp is that Ithorians, which are non-unique aliens, well, at any jungle, swamp, forest, or exterior endor site, adds one dark side icon and one light side icon. So they basically become presence of the force and turn these all into two two sites. And then your Kashyyyk operative adds another force strain. So these now become drain three locations. So it's really hard for your opponent to kind of keep up with that. Um, if you're able to sustain force straining them for, you know, 11 on your four Kashyyyk sites. Um, you have Wookiees, they're power plus one at jungles, forests, or Kashyyyk sites, they're power five, also power plus one at the same site as an Imperial. A lot of dark side decks have Imperials running around, so they might be like power six. Wookiee Strangle is a used interrupt, and Bowcaster is deployed or fired by this Wookiee X equals one, and adds three to the destiny of each of your Bowcasters. So I put in Wookiee Strangle to work with Wookiees. It's a lost interrupt. Use two force to target opponent's non-droid character present with one of your Wookiees. Both players draw destiny, add ability and power. Target lost if Wookiee's total destiny is greater than target's total destiny. So your Wookiee is going to be power five or six. Add your ability, so you're going to be maybe like six or seven plus a destiny. And if you're higher than your opponent's, their character is just lost. So it's a great way to get rid of like... Boba Fett with Blaster Rifle or um, Janus or Similu or, you know, some of these kind of like other or like Dengar with Blaster Carbines. You can just Wookiee Strangle. Wookiee makes it in a used interrupt so you can just keep looping Wookiee Strangles to kill all their characters. And then I throw in a couple good old-fashioned Bowcasters just for fun. So they make X equal 1, so you use 1 Force to deploy um, and then you can use one force to target, draw destiny, add one if targeting a character, two if a creature, target hit if total destiny is greater than defense value. So one to deploy, one to fire, and then it's destiny plus one greater than defense value to hit, and they add three to the destiny, so these become destiny five. You have pretty high destiny overall. You have Narshada Wind Chimes. You have three copies of the signal. You have your, your bow casters. So, um, you know, towards the end of the game, 
you probably have fives, like all fives in your deck, um, which makes it really hard for your opponent to attack you really well. Um, you start with strike planning, which lets you pull out two generals. The generals you're going to pull out are Crix. Crix says once during your deploy phases, you can take one scout of ability less than three into hand from reserve deck, um, reshuffle, and then you can pull out general solo. So deploys minus two to Falcon, to Dirium, or Endor, adds three to power anything pilots. When he's in a battle with Chewie or another one of your scouts in an next to your site, you can use two force to cancel an opponent's battle destiny just drawn. So Crix can pull out um, Chewbacca of Kashyyyk. So he's a Wookiee that works with your um, Kashyyyk operatives. Um, he also works with your general solo that you pulled out because he's a scout. Power six ability two, so he can get a you know a bow caster as well. Um, deploys minus two on Endor, adds two to power of anything he pilots. When he's targeted by a weapon, he can war and become defense by four. And he does some other junk. He's just basically, you know, a Chewbacca because it's fitting that he's on Kashyyyk. Um, and you can also pull out Lieutenant Blount, who's a scout. Um, and he's also a spy. So you can go pull Crix on turn one, play Crix, pull out Lieutenant Blount on your next turn, and use either one of your ob or luke with lightsaber to go deploy to their executor docking bay that they're trying to set up force activation for mobilization points on battle hit their guy die get out of there um some other things you know you've got your back to tank so you can either recycle your epp luke and epp ob or you know wookies or general solo or whatever and just kind of keep looping them back and forth bargaining table lets you to put a um, non-unique alien to cancel a force strain anywhere. Um, so you've got what, like nine Wookiees. There's maybe 17 non-unique aliens. So you can cancel like one drain every single turn. You have a ton of characters. So you have civil disorder. So your opponent has to deploy a character each turn and you're going to be able to be battling them because that's what you want to do with this deck. If they're not coming to fight you, you're going to out drain them very quickly. Lastly, you have launching the assault because one of the cards that really, really hurts this deck is battle order. If you can't control a system and a, a battleground system and battleground site, you have to spend three force to initiate a force drain, which if you're going to be draining for three is probably worth it to spend three, but it's going to probably eat up a ton of your force every single turn. So you have uh, launching the assault, which you can put onto your Kashyyyk, which lets you pull home one out. And then you also have this card, Balanced Attack. I only ran one. Um, you're going to use the, the second function of it. Take one Admiral or General into hand from Reserve Deck. And your Admiral that you can pull out is Admiral Akbar, who can go pilot home one to make it better. And then he can pull out a Mon Calamari. Um, you usually pull out Major Hashin because he prevents lateral damage. Um, but you can also pull out First Officer Thanespi, who makes your opponent have to have more than uh, six ability piloting. Otherwise, their battle destinies are all zero. So he's kind of like Zuckus and Mist Hunter a little bit. And then you have a Lando and Falcon um, with a landing claw to go somewhere else. And then the, the card that really screwed me up in Scavenger against Hustler 2 was Skiff. Um, it's a transport vehicle you can have six people on it and then you can react around and if you lose it everybody can jump off so the point of the deck is basically you have a bunch of wookies with bowcasters reacting around with a skiff to all your kashik sites shooting things and using wookie strangles to kill everybody else and then you've got some ancillary things to just kind of shore up any of your weak points like battle plan or you know, use your EPPs to go attack your opponent. But otherwise, yeah, you're just Athorians to Forest Jungle Swamp, operatives to those locations, Wookiees reacting around and draining your opponent out. It's a pretty fun deck. I gave it a try, a test run, worked like it was supposed to. So, you know, if you're looking for something that's fun, that's not like a crazy manipulator deck or negative play experience that is rife through premiere through Death Star 2 era Star Wars, um, this could be a pretty good alternative. So, so I'm just going to say this, Andy. Usually I leave these kind of thinking, I don't want to play that deck. 
I, I actually really want to go build this. This seems fun, and uh, I, I don't know. I just, this is just like a fun concept to play around with. And so, thanks, thanks for bringing something that's uh, a little more maybe accessible for newer folks as well to kind of you know tinker around with. So this is this is pretty cool. Sure, and you know if you don't have all these cards, like you don't have you know if you're a newer player, or you just rediscovered your collection or something, you don't have Luke with lightsabers and Obi Wan with lightsabers and home ones and stuff like those are not the core cards the way that like say like a bring him before me deck or like a mind what you have learned deck is where you like have to have luke or vader or something like the core of this deck is wookies which were fixed cards and special edition starters and kashik operatives which were commons you know thorian he's a common um nar shadow wind is a common and that's really the core of the the deck so you know Luke and Obi and Han and Chewie, they're all kind of replaceable. You can just kind of put them in. I just had them here because, you know, Gimp is free and they're just good cards. So um, it's pretty cheap to build if you want. Okay. Well, Andy, thank you so much for another edition of this. Uh, yep. Please, Absolutely. folks, leave in the comment. We'll, we'll leave the deck list in the description. But if you guys have questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, Sounds good. All right, and we'll see everybody next time. All right, sounds good. See ya.